Good morning. It is a beautiful day today in North Carolina and today you're in my backyard and we're going to photograph hummingbirds. So come along and enjoy this adventure. Well today my goal is to photograph some hummingbirds. Now here in North Carolina this time of year the predominant hummingbird that you will see is the ruby-throated hummingbird. Now this bird breeds all the way from the end of Florida all the way up into Canada. In August they start their migration, so late August, this is August 19th, they start their migration south. So the birds that are further north will start migrating the way south and as they migrate down they stop and feed. One of their favorite plants to feed on is honeysickle. This is a trumpet looking flower. That they breed that they feed on and the bigger the honeysuckle the more hummingbirds you're going to have here so today my goal is very simple to sit here in my backyard and photograph these birds I want to start out by apologizing about the cicadas. It is cicada season. They're out here singing. So, but anyways, animal number one is a hummingbird moth. This is an insect, a very rare insect here in North Carolina. We actually have four species of them. This one's a fairly small one. We do have one species of hummingbird uh, moth that's about the same size as a ruby-throated hummingbird. Um, they are very commonly mistaken for hummingbirds. They have the same behavior as a hummingbird. They hover above the flowers. They probe into the, um, the flower to get the nectar and they fly just like a hummingbird. Um, like I said, they are very rare, but if these pictures are any good, here they are. Finally able to get a picture of a hummingbird. Um, these, this is a ruby-throated hummingbird. I suspect it might be a juvenile or a female. There is no indication that it has speckling on its throat. I really gotta look at the picture to make sure of that. Now, the problem with photographing these birds in the fall is that the males do not have that bright ruby throat. So it's kind of like one of the drawbacks to uh, photographing in the fall is you don't get the bright dramatic colors. But because you're photographing in the fall, there's generally more birds than there are in the uh, springtime. But that's still exciting. This is, I was able to photograph this bird, so if these pictures are any good at all. Here they are. Well, I want to thank this honeysuckle for its hard work producing these flowers here. Now, I want to encourage you to plant native plants in your backyard. Native plants are easy to take care of. They've evolved to be in your area, which is really good. The birds and insects in your uh, habitat have learned to depend on these plants here, which is really good for the environment. The other thing I like about native plants is they tend to flourish where, to, where they evolve to flourish. So. I can't encourage you enough to plant these plants. So I want to thank you for watching this episode. If you got anything out of it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel because that really helps us in the YouTube world. Become a Patreon supporter. Your support allows us to keep doing this. My name is Sean Leahy. I want to thank you for watching. <laughs>